Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Mess Out here. I got a fun and exciting episode for you guys this Friday because we've been talking a lot about PlayStation 1 based arcade hardware. And while you're looking at a Taito G Net, a Konami Baby Phoenix, and a Konami GX Crypt Killer board, Namco got in on the game too. And while I don't have any in this video right here, Namco System 10 is now working in MAME, and for the longest time it did not work whatsoever. It's got a ton of amazing games on it, and I'm so excited to show you guys some of what's going to be coming in MAME.254. And a big thanks to the cool pup. He is a member of my Discord, and he's been keeping me abreast of all of these developments as I work on Mr. Stuff. And all of the captures you're seeing in this video, he helped me with this week. So big thanks to him. I couldn't have done it without you, cool pup. But right off the top, there's not one but two Mr. Driller games on Namco System 10, Mr. Driller G and Mr. Driller 2. And if you've never played a Mr. Driller game before, it's an absolutely outstanding puzzle game from Namco. And for the longest time, like I said, this did not work in MAME. And that's not because the hardware wasn't emulated. This is based on the PlayStation 1, and obviously PlayStation 1 emulation has been solid for a very long time. What it comes down to, as my understanding, is encryption techniques. This board would do different things with its checks. Sometimes it would be random, sometimes it would be more predictable, but a lot of what went into getting this working was dealing with those encryption checks. And I will say having done encryption stuff on the Konami 3 m 2 side of things and other Konami boards, when security is not consistent across games on the same hardware, you can be driven absolutely nuts trying to track down how it is that things work. Moving over to Taiko no Tatsujin here, this is an absolute classic game franchise that has been going on for a very long time. But not every single one of these games has seen a home console release, but there was a recent one on Switch that I purchased and absolutely loved. But it is now working in MAME and that is absolutely spectacular. Namco System 11 and 12 have worked for the longest time, and Namco System 10 was the odd man out, just not functioning, but there's been a lot of big pushes lately in MAME on the 3D side of things, because the Hyper Neo Geo works a lot better now, and we have System 10, and that's spectacular, because if you watch my channel whatsoever, you know I'm always advocating for video game preservation and history, and a lot of these games are very hard to find as PCBs, and were never ported home. Some of them have home ports, some don't, but having the entire library on MAME means that everybody who wants to experience these games now can because some of these games are going to be rare even in Japanese arcades and some of these arcade PCBs I have looked at the recording of this video there are none available to purchase so before this started working in MAME there was absolutely no way to play it unless you found original hardware for some games and good luck with that but moving over to Star Trigon here another awesome kind of puzzle platform game it's just spectacular to see all of this working in MAME now be aware at the recording of this video, it is not merged into the main MAME you're going to download yet. A lot of this should be available in .254, but I'm not certain that all of it's going to make it. Now you can do custom compilation from GitHub of the code, but if you pop over to my Discord, some of the members there, including the cool pup, have compiled that MAME version from GitHub. And if you use the Discord link at the bottom of this video description, we can probably help you out with that if you don't want to compile it yourself. But honestly, it's just so amazing to have Namco System 10 working, because for the longest time, System 11 and 12 have been perfectly fine in MAME, and this was the lone holdout. Now, there are still some games in the recording of this video that don't perfectly work or don't work at all, but people are working on them. And that's basically going to complete the series of boards from Namco, the system series with the PlayStation 1 hardware. But again, something like Star Trigon here, it's just such a blast to play, and I love playing the arcade version. But there's so many games on this board. One of the interesting things to me, at least, with System 10 is how many of the games are just strange and absurd. If you watch my channel, you know I love weird things, especially when it comes to gaming. So for me, this is like catnip to a cat. I absolutely love seeing it, I love playing it. And like I said, some of these games never made it out of Japan, so you've probably never even heard of them before. I have played pretty much every game on this list outside of a few of the puzzle games, the Mahjong ones. But moving over to Gahaha, I'm not going to try to pronounce the rest of the title because I am going to mangle it. If you don't know anything about Namco, they love puzzle compilation games or action compilation games. If you've never played Point Blank, run, don't walk, and go give that a shot. Because Point Blank 3 does work on this board. 
that there's so many other ways to play it. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but this is Gahaha 2, and I will show you the original game later on in the video. But Namco had such an absurd sense of humor, but they wrapped that absurd sense of humor around amazing games with amazing soundtracks. You gotta hear this, folks. We'll be back in uh, like 30 seconds, and we'll keep going. Just such a weird soundtrack, but I absolutely love it. And if you've never seen a photograph of this cabinet, I recommend you look one up after the video. I don't have one that I've taken. I don't use other people's content on the channel if I don't have permission. But it basically just looks like two giant frog eyes that you can move around and articulate. And I did play a cabinet for this like 15 years ago in California in an arcade that dealt with a lot of import cabs. I absolutely love the design of it, and it is hilarious. But Namco was so good at games like this, obviously point blank with a light gun, different peripheral but same concept. Rapid response, quick thinking, and a quick hand are going to win the day, and I'm sure that's useful, having a quick hand in more than one aspect. But honestly, all jokes aside, let's move on to Gamshara, or Gameshara, I believe it's Gamshara. This is made by Mitchell Corp, and they're not really known for games in this genre, but it absolutely works, and it kind of feels like Nam from SNK on the Neo Geo, except on a PlayStation 1 board made by a completely different company. They're more known for the Puzzle Loop series, but this just works here. It is a very simple concept, but it's very fun to play. You have these different barricades here, and you are basically in a run-and-gun shooter. But you're not moving into the screen or out of the screen, you're just standing here and attacking everything that's coming towards you. It's very simple to learn, but in later levels it gets quite hard, and it is very difficult to master. But it's got a great scoring mechanic to it, awesome controls, it's got everything you would really want in a sort of light-hearted fun game. And what I mean light-hearted, I mean it's not too complex. You can sit down, you can start playing it, get good at it relatively quickly, but then as the levels get deeper and later in the game, you're going to realize it gets a lot harder, and it's going to be a lot more action-packed and interesting than it might look in a video, because honestly not a lot's moving around. The the fun doesn't really translate in a video, but in person you're going to absolutely love it. But I am curious as we move over to Mr. Driller G here, leave me a comment down below and tell me which games on this video so far have you played, which ones have you heard of, and which ones are new to you, because I'm sure at least a couple games in this video are going to be something you've probably never seen before. But Mr. Driller G, just more of a good thing, and I actually prefer Mr. Driller G to Mr. Driller 2. But this series also has an absolutely spectacular soundtrack, so I'm going to do is let you listen to it for 30 seconds, but I got a lot more games to show you after Mr. Driller G's soundtrack break, so stay tuned, but I will be right back. The soundtrack just works and I absolutely love it and it sounds great here via emulation. That's because the sound hardware has basically been emulated for the longest time. That's not what System 10 needed. But moving over to NFL Classic Football, here is a game that is great to have from a video game preservation standpoint, but I'm not really thinking a lot of people are going to want to put a lot of time into it. It is the most basic of football simulators, and at least here on these captures that the cool pup got me, it seems like the rubber banding is deep and the AI is just going to 100% run you down. Because look how far away the player under A is. That is a perfect pass. He should be running that whole thing into the end zone, but magically the defense has a turbo mode. 
Gaketeride here, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a Mahjong puzzle game. Now, I don't know a ton about Mahjong, and I'm guessing you don't either, but this was such a popular genre in Japan, and it still is. It's not at all surprising to see it get a showing on the Namco System 10. I have a Mahjong compact flashcard for my Taito GNAT that came with the board. I never play it, but it is in there. But on the amazing puzzle game deep cut that I think you are going to enjoy, Kono Itako. This is basically Tetris meets Poyo Poyo meets Puzzle Bobble. And the concept is you have these barrels coming in from both sides and they are different colored. Match three, they go away. If the barrels get to that red line in between your octopus, you're 100% dead. And I love the fact that this game has two different things going on on the screen at once. It's not just that you're dealing with verticality and kind of like a Tate puzzle setup. This has a horizontal look to it, and both of those barrels are pushing it at the same time. So your active screen space management is huge in this game. It is a blast to play. It is a ton of fun. It's so simple to pick up and just check out. When you actually spend a lot of time playing it, I think you're really going to love this one. So definitely don't skip it. Give it a try. Now on things that you don't really need to worry about whatsoever is going to be Kotaba no Puzzle. I do not know how to pronounce the rest of it. I believe it's Moji Japan, but honestly I speak no Japanese, which means this game is going to present a very, very big problem for me and most of you as well because it is a Japanese puzzle game, but I love After Kiss comes that eggplant. That's been a joke for a very long time, folks. I love the graphical styling of this game, even if I have absolutely no idea what it is you're supposed to be doing, because it is a word puzzle game. And if you can't tell already, those words are in Japanese, not English, which means your mileage is definitely, definitely going to vary with this one. But one that doesn't require any language, just a good sense of rhythm and challenge. It's Uchu Daisaku-san Chaco Vader, and I'm going to call it Chaco Vader from now on, because I don't really think I got that pronunciation right, but who knows. But for the time being, it is just Chaco Vader. It is weird, it's quirky, it's puzzly, it's all those things that you love with Namco. And this one has another absolutely hilarious soundtrack. It is both catchy and weird at the same time. So I'm going to give you 35 seconds here, but I still got more games to show you, so don't go anywhere after this break. Go. Cool. Congratulations. 100% reminds me of Point Blank, and that's because I'm sure a lot of the same musicians were involved in this. But it's just another awesome action puzzle game. In this level right here, these dudes are just going to roll by, and they're going to give you a spotlight as to where things are. You need to go back and indicate where they are. If you do a good job, you get a prize. If you do a bad job, you get a bomb. It is just a memory matching game, but I love that those aliens just pop up and give you the peace sign. I'm not sure who thinks of these things, but they do, and they absolutely have a blast doing them. Another puzzle game, Panakuru Panakuru, another mouthful, but I think I got that one right too. You are this dog, and you need to basically bite things and match things. That's as simple as it is. It's kind of like candies to me here, but as you start the game, it is going to give you a tutorial on what to do. So you're not going to really need any sort of Japanese language requirements here, not like that Japanese word puzzle game we just showed you. Watch the tutorial, understand how to match things, understand how to navigate the game board, and you will be 100% fine. It's a really small, fun puzzle game. It'll either be your new favorite puzzle game or you won't ever come back to it again. But just like I talked about earlier, so much of this is part of the preservation efforts. MAME keeps these games alive and having System 10 and this game right here is spectacular. It might not be the system's best game at all, but it doesn't mean it's not important to preserve it. But I left the original Gahaha -ha till the end because I just love this series. I love how colorful and weird and quirky it is. I love the arcade cabinet. I love absolutely everything about it. And you'll see here this puzzle game is quite simple. Push a button at the right time to trap something between the two robots. 
But I love that Namco made so many of these games because what appears simple at face value becomes exceedingly hard. A lot of them are rhythm based even if they're not music based. Things like the Taiko Drum Master games, those require actual rhythm. These require more of rhythmic thinking. As you'll see here, you just need to mash the button in the right timing to swim towards the person you're meeting. And I will say a lot of these games have a very distinct Japanese sense of humor because it's not so much what happens to the swimming up to the person, it's what happens when you actually get to her. That's just a thing that happened, no big deal. And it does have some light point blank vibes as well here because there is a shooting gallery and nothing like point blank whatsoever as far as the challenger complexity, but it still does have some of that same gameplay and that is always a good thing, can't get enough of it. But these are the games that are currently working that I showed you on Namco System 10. And like I said, this isn't currently in MAME right now. It'll be coming to MAME apparently in version 0.254. That doesn't mean that every single game here will be working because there are some cutoffs and some of these games have been added in more recent kind of test builds. But Namco System 10 is here in MAME and it's spectacular because System 11 and 12 have been around for a long time and now we got the third one. Short of that, if you have any questions, leave me them down below and be happy to help you guys out. Otherwise, it's a fun video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.